Good morning, everyone. We are Good Morning Games. I'm Jason. Hello, this is Alex. And today we are going to talk about, uh, well, recently, just last week, we saw the release of Pac-Man 99, uh, Nintendo's online service, which is obviously another kind of follow-up to Tetris 99, and then they put out Mario 35 on there, and then once that kind of went away, I think everyone was kind of asking what's going to be next, and apparently Pac-Man 99 is it. So we thought we would come up with some other ideas. I think a lot of people agree that... Uh, they could really expand the online service by having more of these types of games. So both of us came up with some ideas that we thought would be good. And um, yeah, we're just going to kind of talk over those. Alex, you want to go first? Yeah. Uh, up front, I just want to say Pac-Man 99 is really awesome. Uh, I've been having, I love Tetris 99. I thought Mario 35 was fun, but I kind of got, it got older for me quicker than Tetris did. But Pac-Man, I'm like, I'm hooked on. I think I've got three wins so far, and I like am hooked on trying to get more. So it's a really awesome uh, game for the NSO service, and for thirty bucks you can like buy more content for it, which I didn't even realize uh, mm -hmm. until I downloaded the game and I bought it. <laughs> you did? <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't bought. I haven't bought it, but those sk just the skins alone. I've never ever been like someone who would buy skins but god those look amazing <laughs> I, I was just gonna say the skins actually change the game a lot because they uh they play like i use the dig dug skin mm. and that it plays the music from dig dug instead of like the pac-man oh, music awesome. and instead of like being pac-man you're like the i can't remember his name the dig dug guy yeah, yeah, like yeah. going around the map and that changes the enemies like it changes you're still playing Pac-Man, but it just looks and sounds totally different. It's really awesome. Yeah, they all looked like pretty, like extravagant. Like, they, like it's not just a little basic yeah. change. So that's awesome. Yeah, yeah it's pretty sick. I might have to buy that. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yes, yeah, Pac-Man ninety nine is great. Um, so yeah, some of the stuff that I was thinking. I, I mean, Tetris ninety nine came out two years ago. Last year was Mario. This year we got Pac-Man. I hope they start releasing these battle royales like more often than once a year because yeah. they aren't huge releases. I kind of want to see one every six months. I think that'd be a much better release schedule. Yeah, I mean, it it does seem like Nintendo just has they don't quite have. I mean, they're charging less than others for online, but I mean, the online itself isn't great. So I mean, they need. I don't know. I just don't think they have enough, and I. You, Tetris 99 was awesome. Pac-Man 99 is awesome. But, like, it would be really great if they had... There's got to be more. If they had, like, I don't know, like, at least... Like, if they had, like, ten of these types of games. I know that might be a yeah. lot, considering we only have two right now. <laughs> but yeah. I, it, it's not that many, you know? Like, it's it, it it's unrealistic. I don't think that that's going to happen. But, like, if there was ten of these to choose from, that would be, like, all right. I can pay 20 bucks a year for this. Like, that, you know, yeah. I don't know. It would add a lot more value. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the first one I have uh, that I would want to see that I've seen a lot of people mention uh, is Donkey Kong 99. Um, it, the Donkey Kong 40th anniversary is this year as well, so this would be a cool... Even if it is a limited release like Mario was, um, I think, you know, it could work. Like, you jump over a barrel... Uh, and avoid obstacles, and then that sends more barrels at your opponents type of thing. Like, the the setup works for that kind of arcade 99 style. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's it also lines up, like, with Tetris and Pac-Man. They're kind of the same era of arcade game. And it's different enough from those two where they could all be on the service at the same time without, like, feeling redundant, I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, so... What were you saying? So, if you jump a barrel, it like at, sends a barrel at your enemy. Yeah, I mean that's really it. You know, <laughs> that's kind of the formula. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean, yeah, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. Like I, they did in in Mario 35. If you beat a Bowser, it sent a Bowser. Yeah, yeah, that was cool because it was a little <laughs> more challenging. <laughs> I don't know if yeah. you could do it with Donkey Kong because it would like you could really wreck somebody's game doing that. Yeah, um, but. I'm sure they'd figure something out. Could also be like speed, like it makes it fat, like just overall makes everything faster if you're like, yeah, uh, people send stuff at you. But yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and I've heard that one too. And I, 
thing that seems like of like all of their old games that seems the most like set to go i know there's a lot of people expecting like zelda 99 or, or zelda 35 and i do expect that but it seems like donkey kong could be such an easy transition to a game like that and that would be awesome yeah um so the first one that i have is it would have it would take a take a more effort than these other ones but um i just would really really like to see the next wario wear just Ooh, be okay. an, just be an online part of the online service um cuz i just you know whether it's 99 people 35 whatever i just think that that would that that's tailor made for that type of situation where you you know it's a bunch of different quick little reactionary mini games and when you're out you're out and then you know yep. maybe 99 people might be too much cuz that game would go for too long but you know if they had 30 people and it's just a you know rapid fire really fast quick little mini games and as soon as you're you lose you're cut and then it's tell the last man standing um i think that'd be really fun i again the only reason i don't really see that happening is because that technically is wario aware but um yeah just have it all be online and verse people i think that'd be awesome and then you could they could download you could have like downloadable updates every six months with new little mini games stuff like that um i think that'd be awesome yeah i i would definitely play that <laughs> i would uh if they announced wario wear 99 i'd be like that's sick but i'd also be a little bit pissed off because i want a, a full <laughs> wario wear game yeah for sure so if they had a full wario wear first and then wario wear 99 that that'd be great yeah and even if they don't put this as a 99 i hope that they when they do come out with the wario wear online is like a heavy portion of it at least let's yeah. see that in the next wario wear have like a online battle royale type style i just think that that would fit really well and maybe maybe I see, I see that being more likely, but um, that'd be cool too. Yeah. Um. Okay. The next one I had was Zelda ninety nine <clears throat> that you mentioned. Who knows if we'll get that this year? Um. You know, I think a really cool way to do it would be to just start. You start the original Zelda, like you just play the original Zelda. <laughs> like it's just the full game it's not confined to one you could confine it to one screen and that would be a different experience but like you just play through zelda and as you kill enemies it send, sends more enemies at the opponents like as the formula works um but uh just having like a huge open world that you could go anywhere in so everyone's not doing like the exact same thing over and over again like you could figure out uh more better strategies by going to different areas of the map mm-hmm um i think that'd be, that'd be pretty sick yeah i mean i think the only thing with that that ha well it would probably work because eventually there'd be so many enemies on screen it's like you're never going to survive i guess i was just yeah. thinking like i guess i was <laughs> yeah. just thinking like where is the end but there wasn't really an end for mario 35 it just played the same levels over and over so it's like yeah i guess as long as you couldn't just like hide out somewhere on the map as long as eventually you just have tons of enemies on your screen i don't know that'd be awesome it'd be hilarious to see people playing zelda 99 and being so good at it that they beat zelda and have to start over <laughs> yeah to like keep going to try and knock each other out <laughs> that'd be awesome yeah to go through like all eight uh dungeons or whatever yeah that'd be fun um so another next one i have is uh rhythm heaven 99 um, Whoa! so if you haven't played any of the Ryth rhythm heaven games there was like one on the ds and one on wii and again it's kind of, my idea would be it's kind of in the same situation as the wario where it's just you know it's a bunch of little quick like mini games that were um really all about doing something to the rhythm um but i remember the one on the wii was really fun and so i kind of see it as the same as what i just said with the wario where where um you know it's taking an ip that like i don't know if they haven't done anything yet since like the wii i'm not sure if there's one on wii u but it kind of seems like maybe they're fading away from that like you know that ip so it's like this would be a great way to bring it back and it just you don't have to put a ton of work into it it can be something smaller just like a you know free online where again have however many 30 people 
and just keep going with mini games, you drop out as soon as you lose, um, and it gets harder and harder. Um, I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, I've actually never played a rhythm heaven game, but I would definitely jump into that. Yeah, it's it's kind of like a, I mean, yeah, it's a rhythm game, but it's like a Nintendo eyes rhythm game. Like you're making like, uh, gotcha. Yeah, I I don't even know how to explain. Like you're like slicing apples as they go to the beat. It's like drop 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 drop, and you have to like slice each apple as that goes. Sick. <laughs> Tight. Yeah, so that's that. That was my description of Rhythm Heaven. <laughs> I'd play it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next one I had was Luigi's Mansion 99. Sweet. And I think it'd be awesome to set this up like the Nintendo Land game, Luigi's Ghost Mansion, I think it was called, mm-hmm. where it's like a top-down Yep. Isometric view. Is that what that's called? Isometric? I don't know what that sure. word means. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you just like see the whole map and there's different ghosts that you gotta, you have to, there's like an element of searching and finding the ghosts uh, rather than just like all out, you know, sucking them up or whatever. But you have to search them out and then vacuum up the ghosts and send them at your opponents. I think that'd be a really fun one. Um, yeah. Just with uh, different like, like a flashlight to find the ghosts and all the different Luigi's Mansion elements. I think that would add a cool uh sort of refreshing twist on the the battle royale that they've been uh, doing so far yeah i like that a lot i actually had originally had on my list i had a nintendo land style Mm -hmm. like like but that's kind of similar to my other ones where it's like i just think that the main thing is like i just think they should do something with just these little mini type games um but yeah. yeah so that's what i was thinking nintendo land. but yeah that's awesome i would i would really like that literally any nintendo land game i think would yeah, work for this <laughs> just do nintendo land 99 <laughs> yeah that, I, yes that would be awesome um so then i have um well i have four different ones i'll take any of these four that are all in the same vein um <laughs> I, I i want a it can be 2d it can be cheap um huge racing and it could be either f099 pilot right. w- pilot wings 99 excite bike 99 or kirby's air ride 99 um any of those i i think the most likely ones I- i'd see would be the f0 or excite bike i could mm-hmm. see those i could see those having you know again maybe 99 is too much but just having like a huge race um and like if it was um f0 you know every time you pick up an item or something it drops something in someone's way um i just can see both of those and they can be like the the uh super nintendo or the nes version of it those graphics um it wouldn't matter but i'm surprised that i do think that uh, like some sort of 2d racing would be a cool nso game yeah i think uh excite bike would be sick I would yeah. I would love that. F zero would be cool. Um Yeah, I, I was I was thinking about the racing thing and like how I was just trying to figure out how the element of like thro- like sending stuff at your opponents would work. Yeah. In a racing game. Or maybe it's literally just an online racing yeah, game. Yeah, I was <laughs> more so just thinking, yeah, maybe just like an online racing. Um, yeah. Yeah, those would be great. God, excite bike. Bring that back. Yeah, like they could literally just make a free online excite bike that you know has however many a little bit more people in each race. Doesn't need to be just yeah. like twenty or something. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be great. This was this was my favorite my favorite one. Uh, Mega Man ninety nine. Oh, I think would be man. sick. Okay, <laughs> like, and so how does this work? It's just the exact same as Mario 35. <laughs> you just like how Mar- Mario 35, you play through different levels. Uh, maybe there's just a handful of like the most popular robot bosses from Mega Man series, like Gutsman, Cutman, Metal Man, Snake Man, like all the all the hits, all the big ones. Mm-hmm. And uh, you just randomly start out on one of their levels. And as you play through it, you kill enemies, it sends them to their opponents. And then if you beat a boss robot, it sends the boss robot at your opponent as oh, well. Oh, man. I think Mega Man would be a perfect fit for this sort of style of game. Be awesome. Yeah. I love Mega Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> I love Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking I haven't played I haven't played the old ones in a while. Yeah. Better get back into them. <sighs> yes, that would be awesome. Um Okay. Um so then other things I kind of put down was I think we can kind of go back to after Tetris 99, once that was released, then they kind of came up with the Mario. I think I, I'm, it's kind of funny how you didn't really see people, pre- not that many people predicting something like Pac-Man 99. But then no, now that, not at all. But then now that it's out, it's like, oh, OK, like that's exactly that makes complete yeah. sense. So now knowing Nintendo, they could obviously not follow this pattern at all. But I was thinking, you know, we can think of some old arcade games that would be good like this if they're going to follow the same pattern. So based on like old arcade, I mean, I only wrote down I wrote down four. Um, Mm. I just wrote down uh, Galaga, uh, Mm -hmm. Frogger. Yeah. Oh, Frogger would be great. Dig Dug and uh, Snake like on your phone. (laughs) <laughs> oh snake <laughs> snake 99 that would be like number one trending on twitch i feel like it would just be so out there because you know like, <laughs> there would be people who are so good at it that yeah. it's just their snake would be the whole screen it's yeah. just whoever messes up first like it'd be so fun <laughs> what have you been playing uh snake 99 <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I would play that uh, i would play it <laughs> i used to play snake on my mom's nokia phone for yeah hours on end yeah me like too <laughs> 2000 or whenever that was yeah uh yeah dig Nug- dig dug 99 if they did another namco or like classic arcade dig dug 99 would be my top choice i think yeah yeah i didn't really figure out how they would do frogger um <laughs> but, yeah. I, but i but um I love Frogger. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah however, they, love... <laughs> however they figure it out. Uh, I just love Frogger, so I just thought that'd be a good one to put on there. <laughs> yeah, those were all the ones I had, but uh, big fan of these 99s. I hope we see more of them. Yeah. I also had, like, so as I was, like, writing them down, and this is kind of what we've, as we've been talking here, it's kind of turned into is, like, I just want there to be more, like, more of them taking their own IPs and making little basic online games out of them. They don't need to be fully fledged, but like even like as I was like coming up with ideas, I was thinking like, could there be something with like Pokemon where it's just like it doesn't need to be a huge game, but just like how what what was the uh Pokemon Arena? What was the uh Stadium? I, stadium. Like Pokemon Stadium, like they could just do something like that where you're like have like tournaments, battle tournaments online. Yeah. Um, I have like, um, wave race. I'm just thinking oh, of like, yeah. like IPs that they've kind of like dropped. Well, like, okay, we'll make punch a li- out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Punch out. That was one of them yeah. too. I was thinking about, yeah. Like, like, it just seems like they could make these IPs that they're not going to use for a full fledged game anymore and just make little online ones. And God, that'd make, that'd make me pay for it. And not feel bad. <laughs> I actually never played NES Remix, but from what I heard, like it kind of lines up with what you're talking about. Um, even though that's like all just a mashup of them, but rather than like individual IP. But yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for listening. Again, I am Jason. I am Alex. And we are Good Morning Games, and we will see ya. See ya.